welcome back. It's another What Sold this weekend. It is Saturday, January 23rd. I only have five whopping items to ship out, all small dollar items, but that's okay. They're all sales. It's all money back in my pocket. Uh, yesterday, Ruby Lane started their 30% off red tag sale, and I shipped five items out for Ruby Lane yesterday, which was kind of nice. I always get a couple sales the instant that 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 their red tag events start. They do one like every two to three months, I think. Uh, this one's everything's 30% off. You're allowed to opt. You don't have to put all your stuff in their sale. And you're allowed to put up to 50% of however many listings you have. So I just always go back to the oldest 50% of the listings. Add them all to the sale. Uh, except for anything that... I can't afford to sell for the 30% off. So I had like 220 items in this sale. I'm hoping that a few more of them go. Uh, it runs through the weekend, so. But five right away was kind of nice. And this month on Ruby Lane has been really good. It's enough to pay for me for fees for three months, which is the best month I've had yet on there. So I at least made three times what I've spent on paying my fees on the site. My plan, my hope, is that I can build Ruby Lane up enough that everything that comes in from Ruby Lane covers all my PayPal expenses since my eBay stores are no longer going into PayPal. <clears throat> but all of my shipping is coming out of PayPal and I still use my PayPal debit card for certain business purchases um, and online purchases. So I've been trying to balance and make sure I send money back into PayPal from my bank account, but Ruby Lane still goes to PayPal. So if I can build that up enough, I could have a consistent stream of money flowing into PayPal, not have to worry about transferring funds around. So that's my plan. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll just show you the five little items I have. Two on Amazon. This is an, a spectacular Spider-Man vintage comic book sold for $9.67 plus shipping. And this martial arts body self-cultivation and key energy book also sold for $9.67 plus shipping. The comics, I think I listed all of them summer of 2019, so they've all been listed for over a year. But I listed like 300 comics. I'm down to like 150 left on there. This has been listed for about three years. Sometimes books are hard sells on there, but you let them sit long enough, they do eventually go. So there's that. And then my one Poshmark sale is this. And I just listed this yesterday for $14. And it sold within minutes of listing it for full asking price. It is just a J. Crew necklace, but um, fun little emerald colored rhinestones all along the front. This came in my last Thread Up Fun box, which actually ended up being a really good box. Several items sold really fast from that box. So that's my one for Poshmark. And then I have nothing going out on Mercari. Nothing going out on eBay, but I did get two Facebook uh, sales to ship. This little AJC kitty cat brooch sold for $5 plus shipping. I'm doing a lot of Facebook listings for cheap stuff, like things that I want to sell between $3 and $10 um, to see if I can move fast. I did sell a couple big items on Facebook locally this week. Uh, but it, anything that I can ship for under like 10 bucks, I'm not even offering locally. And then my other Facebook sale, I also just listed yesterday. I guess that's not going to work. It's a collection of nine McDonald's lapel pins. Uh, and these were just mine, the company that I worked for prior to quitting and doing this full time was a supplier of McDonald's. And for about the last seven years that I was there, I worked primarily on the McDonald's account. And the fun little 
bonuses that we got. We got all sorts of little random McDonald's memorabilia. Uh, my favorite, we would always get a complete set of the McDonald's Happy Meal toys. That's probably the one thing, the only thing I miss about that job. There was always at least one set a year where I could sell it for like $50 to $100 and considered that my bonus. And then there was always that one set every year that was just super fun and my daughter wanted it. So it was a nice little fun thing to be able to come home and be like, look, I brought you the entire set of Shopkins toys from McDonald's and she'd get super excited. Um, or I'd list whole sets online and get a little bonus. So this is it. This is all the stuff I have to pack up and ship out today. I will get back to you as soon as there is anything else to show off. One more Saturday sale. This tiny little porcelain doll and all her many flaws sold on Ruby Lane with the tag sale for $13 plus shipping. One more last minute Saturday sale. This fun Mark by Mark Jacobs rhinestone watch sold on Mercari for $18 plus shipping. I started it, I think, at 30 and I had reduced the price a couple times, had it down to 22 and she sent me an $18 offer, which I accepted. All right, it is Monday. The weekend did pick up a little bit for me, so I do have a few things going out today. I think I have something on every site, so that's good. Um, today is the start of the final week of my weight loss challenge. <laughs> One week to go. As of two days ago, I had four pounds to go. Today I have six pounds to go because my body sucks and adapts way too fast to whatever I do. So as soon as I change something up, it's like, oh, we gotta retain water now. Oh, we gotta stop. Anyway, this week I'm trying a liquid diet. I'm gonna try two or three days of just a water fast and see how that goes. I've never done just, I've done a liquid diet before and do okay with it. I've never done a water fast. So we'll see. I don't think, I meant, don't think I can make it more than two or three days on a water fast. I just, but I do have plenty of protein shakes and smoothies and stuff that I can do to convert it into a um, more substantial liquid diet. But hopefully, hopefully that's the last trick that I have to pull out of my bag because I only have a week left. And I really don't want to lose the money that I bet on myself. So if you haven't been following, I did the healthywage.com. Um, bet and I will do a separate video just about that once it's done and once I have my check in my hand showing that I succeeded because I know I can do it just this the at the first 21 pounds of the 30 pounds I mean they weren't easy but they came off as would be expected and then I just kind of completely stalled and I have not had much success with this last nine pounds and as of today, I have six left to go. So cross my fingers, wish me luck, and hopefully I can get through a couple days with just a water fast. We'll see. Anyway, here's what I'm shipping out today. This is a Special Forces Survival Guide book sold for $9.67 plus shipping on Amazon. It's my one Amazon sale. A couple things on Poshmark. I have this Furla little mini evening bag. This sold for $50 on Poshmark. Also on Poshmark, and that was an offer I sent, so there's discounted shipping there. These are Hue, H-U-E brand pinstripe leggings. These I've had listed for over a year. Um, the Furla bag I got in a thread up purse slot early in the summer of 2020, so it's probably been listed at least close to six months. These were listed for over a year, almost two years now. I did a price drop with the closet clear out for $12, so they got discounted shipping on Poshmark. I didn't have to pay for it. This is another price drop, but it's under $10, so they didn't get discounted shipping, but 
It is a men's lumberjack, size medium, just a basic black thermal. Six dollars plus shipping on that. Had a little piece of hay or something stuck to it. This one uh, was three dollars on Poshmark and it's day trip and it's just a really lightweight sheer top so i only get a nickel for this <clears throat> and i have maybe 10 items at three dollars and some at four and some at five when i mark stuff down below five dollars normally what happens is people will start to bundle and then i'll give them an even bigger discount with a bundle because i don't have to pay the 2.99 or 2.95 per item fee every now and then somebody buys just the one item and it sucks because I'm shipping it out and it's not even worth the cost of printing the label but at the same time by the time I get something down to three dollars on there it's been sitting forever my next step is to take it off and get rid of it so I kind of hope that people add those items to bundles if they don't I'm still gonna give it to them uh, and then, so those were my Poshmark sales. This one was my one Facebook Marketplace sale. Got a whole ton of these from, um, they're just binoculars. Whole ton of them from Via Trading in summer of 19. So they've been sitting for over a year, still about 45 of them left. That one I accepted a $5 offer plus shipping on Facebook. And then my one Mercari sale. And I love this. It came in a jewelry lot, but it's a little mirror. It's hand painted on the back. It's got a nice genuine jade handle, silver plating, just a nice really old Asian mirror. And I accepted an $18 offer plus shipping on that. So I will be back momentarily with eBay and Ruby Lane once I get these packed up. Okay, so for my eBay sales, uh, first up I have a mixed lot of seven and a half pounds of jewelry, $9.99 plus shipping had two boxes on auction starting last Sunday, ending yesterday. Only one of them sold, and it was a last minute bid for the $9.99. And then I added two more boxes going up for next Sunday, and so now I have three. Sometimes they go for $50 to $80, sometimes they go for $9.99, and rarely, but sometimes apparently they don't sell at all. Oh well. Uh, it's all the stuff, the extra stuff, that I didn't feel like listing individually, but all good wearable, sellable stuff. This is a pair of just dark, dark wash, dark blue, blue jeans, Simply Vera for Vera Wayne, size 6. I sent an $8 offer, which they accepted. I didn't send a lot of eBay offers this weekend, but I did send a couple. This was also an offer. It's been listed for about six months. It is that optical art. So you've got the winter scene and the spring summer scene. It's by Michael Brown. Uh, this was number 21 out of 250 of this particular painting, or not painting, but photo art very cool I sent a $70 offer and that had free shipping on it so it's been listed for a while and I I mean I guess he's not a huge well-known artist but I just thought it was really cool um, and it was given to me for free so it's all profit but it took a while to sell this one is Tory Birch sunglasses these I've had listed for maybe about three months. They came from a Thread Up Fun Box and they sold for $50 with free shipping. Don't remember exactly what else was in that particular box, but this paid for the whole thing if nothing else did. Uh, so there's that. that is, those are my biggies for eBay. 
Then I have this. It is a rose gold, um, or not rose gold, rose quartz hand knotted necklace with just a cheaper, more modern stretch bracelet that I threw in together for $12 plus shipping. This Chico's necklace has a fun old faux pearl look to it. Came in one of my mini shop Goodwill boxes, sold for $12.67 plus shipping. Then we have this little micro mosaic vintage brooch, sold for $15 plus shipping. And these little earrings. They are gold plating over sterling silver, just little star dangles. Sold for $11.67 plus shipping. And I think, yep, that's everything on my two eBay accounts. And so all I have left to show you is Ruby Lane and that's coming up. All right, finally for Ruby Lane, Everything except for one item is from the 30% off sale. Uh, three shipments going out, but one of them's for three different things. So first up is this pair of pretty butterfly earrings. Uh, $9 plus shipping on those. And then this Lita Freshwater Pearl set. Got the pair of earrings with all the different color pearls to interchange. Sold for $21 plus shipping. And then the other buyer purchased these little 1928 brand clip-on copper earrings. Those were $10 and they were not on the sale price. But then there's this Asian Damascene um, bracelet for $24, I think. Let's see. Yes, $24 for this one. And then they also got this set, which is similar, but it's butterflies. Um, and it's got the screw back earrings. And then a matching bracelet and necklace. So that set was $94 on sale. So those are the three Ruby Lane packages going out and then I have two others that haven't paid yet. So hopefully they will pay soon and I will get those last ones out. That is everything that sold this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully by next weekend I can share with you that I past this healthywage.com weight loss challenge. Hopefully, wish me luck, please. Cross your fingers for me as long as you can all week because I need all the help I can get to cross that finish line. Oh, but thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and be sure to come back for more.